What is going on guys, Rewinds here, and in this video I'm going to be bringing you guys my review for Boruto episode 253. So, we got a decent bit to talk about in this one. Um, so, last episode we left off with Team 7 pretty much on their way to get close to Ikata, and we had a bunch of war cries by both sides. So, we got left on a little bit of a cliffhanger of the war potentially beginning. So this one starts off with Team 7 um, continuing to approach Ikata and as that's happening and they're getting closer, Ikata goes and he takes out Kajiki's ship. So um, now Team 7 is on Ikata's ship, so they are on the Funato ship and you know pretty much sur surrounded by enemies. So they're in a bad spot and it's Mitsuki, Sarada, and Boruto. Uh, no Kawaki around at this point of the story or any of the others involved but they're pretty much there and Boruto's trying to talk to Ikata but Ikata decided for whatever reason to take away their transportation back. Um, Ikata then goes on to say that he will kill them if whatever they want to talk to him about is something ridiculous. And then Boruto responds by telling um, Ikata and the others pretty much what the Mizukage said about how you know if one side uh, decides to stop fighting the other will too so there's not any unnecessary bloodshed. Um, both Araumi and Ikata do not seem to care about this though at all. Ikata wants to continue the war until one side is completely crushed so pretty much he has this mentality that either him and his people uh, die fighting or they go and crush the other side and get their revenge and I mean this is definitely hugely due to what happened with uh, his sister I'm sure that's influenced him a lot um, Ikata pretty much says that his dreams of the past were over once his sister got killed so pretty much he let go of everything he cared about back then and it's no longer important to him Pretty much the main priority to him now is to avenge his sister and do what she would have wanted. Um, meanwhile, we cut over to Team 5 and the rest of the gang that's around at the moment. And they end up finding out where Boruto currently is. So they have an idea now and they're thinking about doing something about it too. Uh, we cut back over to the ship again this conversation still going pretty back and forth ikata is dead set on revenge and he even shows uh team seven and pretty much uh the others like the mist i'm sure is watching from afar they can see that the mobile fortress that was around at the beginning of this arc reappears so it seems like they got it back and now they'll be using it to take out the Shino Gnome. Um, their plan is to destroy the Shino Gnome because they are against the sea being controlled and pretty much they want like the waves and just how the sea is to be flowing naturally. Um, and the mist on the other hand you know they have their own reasons like they want to calm down the sea so it's easier for them to travel, easier to prevent natural disasters. So both sides have you know their own case for what they want to happen. Um, so this next part I found was pretty interesting. So this dude Kawaki somehow is on the ship and I don't know how that happened exactly and they didn't really go out of their way to explain it um, unless they do so in like you know one of the remaining episodes of this arc that I haven't seen yet but they did not explain how he got there so it was just a funny little appearance he just came out of nowhere and he's just listening in for now uh and then you know the boruto ikata talk continues and ikata pretty much uh says that he won't stop the war again but at the same time he seems like he doesn't want to necessarily kill boruto uh ikata then punches boruto and um, as Boruto is, you know, still trying to talk him out of it, uh, Ikata goes and he brings out Funamushi's son. 
and that's pretty much Ikata's counter to when Boruto further tries to reason to stop the war. So he just shows Boruto, look, like this is another victim of this whole stuff that's been going on, a uh, victim of their side. Uh, next, what happens is that we're here, we're nearing the end now, by the way. So what happens is that Ikata pretty much tells Boruto that if he wants the war to stop, that he has to bring him the Mizukage's head. And that would be the only way that he would consider backing down. See, that's not even a guarantee. And he's demanding something so ridiculous to begin with. He wants the village leader's head. And we all know that's not going to happen. So, obviously, they think it's a ridiculous request, like Sarada and Mitsuki especially. But this episode actually ends with Boruto saying that he would offer his life up instead to stop the fighting of both sides. So this um, was an interesting ending to the episode. A lot of talking this episode and minimal action, but um, the episode seemed to be carried a lot by its story, and um, I don't know necessarily how much action we are going to get in 254 yet because I haven't seen it. But um, there's a chance we might get some, or if, you know, they're just going to keep talking, maybe we won't get any. I'm not necessarily sure, but I am interested to see how they're going to wrap things up. And I do think that this is really good, you know, development for Boruto compared to what it used to be um, back in even like episode 50 of the show compared to now. He really is showing um, how much he... Uh, has grown and he's showing that you know he's learning like the same lessons Naruto was figuring out when he was in his teens like when he was in Naruto Shippuden so the fact that he's learning this like so soon like the thing about you know the world and seeking peace and like how revenge is like a never-ending cycle and all that uh, he's learning it pretty early and I think that's pretty cool but all in all um, I thought this episode was solid somewhere around solid to good so i'm gonna give it somewhere around a six and a half to a seven out of ten um i am hoping we end off on like a eight out of ten episode or something crazy like that but uh no episode this arc for me has hit that eight out of ten range the best i think i've rated an episode this arc is seven and a half out of ten and that for me is what i would rate like a pretty good episode but um we haven't passed that yet, so I don't know how they're going to end. It could even end on a bad note, but fingers crossed it ends on a good note. But um, that's my thoughts on this one. Let me know what you thought of it in the comments below. Be sure to leave a like if you guys did enjoy. Subscribe to my channel if you guys are new. Hope you guys have a good day or night whenever you guys are watching this video. I'm Rewinds, and I'm out.